hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this video we will talk about how we can get a job as a data analyst or as a data science or as a business analyst it can be any data related field in 2024 see the main problems what we face to start our first job as a fresher we apply for a data analyst job or it can be anything but we don't even get an interview call is that right today in this video i will guide you how you can get a job or interview calls all right but before that i won't be making any unrealistic claim just to grab your attention or views all right instead i will focus on the fact i will show you practical step that can lead you towards secure a job i personally think in my opinion if you will follow these steps i'm very sure the probability to getting a job it will definitely increase i'm sure about that okay and before we begin our video let me clear one thing this is going to require a lot of hard work lot of time i won't be promising any magical solution or you can say do this and uh, you will get the job instant i will share with you what you can do to increase your chance to get a interview calls all right see if you are expecting any shortcut or quick way to get a job i would suggest you please please leave this video now and do not waste your time because i know it sounds so harsh but this is the truth my friend because without hard work neither you nor i will never earn money or or we will never secure a job as long as we are working for the money right so that is why i'm saying it's going to take lot of hard work all right the thing i'm sharing with you today it comes from my own experience bro as a fresher i also face a similar challenges that is why i'm saying this all right so let's come back to our topic and without further ado let's get started so we will divide video in three part in first part we will chat about the skills you need to secure a data analyst job moving on to the part 2 i will guide you like you know what is action you should take to secure a job or you can say you recognize by the companies all right in the final and third part i'll share you the insights or platform from where you can get the job opportunity or even you will not get a job opportunity you can work as a freelancer all right because i am also working as a freelancer see i had my job before i quit my job now i am working as a freelancer so if you i can work so you can work too all right okay moving on to the first part where we are going to talk about the what is skill we require to become a data analyst all right so before we jump into the first part we should know what data analyst actually does all right so imagine imagine this business gather a lot of information uh, about what they do for example a company it could be a sales company it could be a hospitality or it could be a hospital record online shopping e marketing share marketing can be anything now they want to make a smart decision based on the information all right here where a data analyst jumps in their job is to dive into the data whether it's about past event health record online sales or it can be anything else all right they figure out what's going on in i mean what's going in all right see i also don't know much coding language you should also don't need to know much coding language to become a data analyst but there is something you should know right nowadays there is a lot of competition in the market so at least you should know a little bit right so first thing we should understand the excel i know it's very uh, old tool but you should know the excel because as a data analyst you will likely spend a significant significant amount of time in excel or google sheet depending on your company preference here are some 
task you should be comfortable with like you know data cleaning data sorting pivot table formulas data visualization and these kind of things you can perform in the excel because sometimes you know what happened uh, you hired as a data analyst you just did you know uh, data cleaning or data entries job so that is why you should know as a fresher it might be you will do these kind of things that's why i said excel okay when it's come to the little bit intermediate level when you will become little bit intermediate that time you will work on the visualization tool like you know tableau or power bi these tools are widely used for the creating a data cleaning process like you know power in power query we did a lot of data cleaning like formula this is very 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 important you should know the sql or sql whatever you say why i'm saying this because about 90 percent of your time as a data analyst is spent working with the sql while there is a small chance you might use python like you know five to ten percent but sql sql command such as a dml command data man manipulation language dql command ddl command or you know store procedure these kind of things you are gonna use a lot okay see if you already know the sql well and good but if you don't know the sqls even you know basic of sqls please check out my series i have made complete video on sql like from scratch to end where i have created the many project everything whatever you want to be a, a data analyst i cover it even i have given the data set as well that you can practice all right so moving on to the second part we'll talk about after gain all the skills and everything what you have to do you'll make your resume right or you'll make your linkedin profile but this is not enough because nowadays creating a resume creating a linkedin profile is not enough to be honest why i'm saying this because before what happened in the past we send our resume to our employer or we apply job from the LinkedIn, they used to scroll our resume and they check out. And nowadays, things has been changed, my friend. Because why? Nowadays, what company does, you know, they receive a lot of, you know, resume. They use AI to filter the resume. So make sure, if you don't know how to make a good resume, you know, that AI can recognize it's not like you know just put your uh, what is skill you should know microsoft excel or we at ablu and sql that's it no or you can say the words the maximum words you can use in the resume and that would be uh, like you know according that the ai will filter your resume so make sure to make a good resume if you want me to create a particular video on it that how we can prepare a as a data analyst resume if you already work on like a, any particular uh, project and how you can mention that in your resume right below in the comment i'll work on it i'll definitely make video on the, it okay moving on to the next step what we have to do to get a job build your own portfolio you can build on the github you can build on the youtube you can build on the linkedin or you can build your own portfolio website see this is my youtube channel now if i will go for the interview even as a freelancer if somebody asks me like you know what you know what i did you know i give them a github link i give them my uh, website link i give them my linkedin uh, link i give them my youtube even i focus more on the youtube i tell them like you know uh, sir please uh, check out this link where i create a video on the the particular tools like you know sql power bi tableau uh, uh, sql python and you will know more about my because as a uh, in the interview it's difficult to explain that what i know but if you'll go to my uh, youtube channel you will know better you know you'll you'll know that uh, what i know what i don't so they impressed you know that is why it is very important you to build your own portfolio especially build your own portfolio website and understand if you don't belong to the tech background or you don't know any coding language like python java html javascript 
it is difficult to build a website right but there are few website where you can uh, like you know build your website without writing a single code for example webflow.com go to the webflow.com you will know you can build your own website without writing any code if you want me to make a video on it how to build your own portfolio website please do let me know in the comment okay so these are the most important things we should do before going for an interview or before applying for a job in the last step after doing all these things gaining our skills making our portfolio website and everything what we have to do right the main part is here there are many websites from where you can get the internship i would suggest if you are a fresher apply for the internship first like you can use internchala you can use nokri.com you can use linkedin you can use indeed you can use glassdoor there are many platform where you can apply for the internship i'm why i'm saying internship because as a intern anybody can hire you even do free work man for one month two month do free work don't ask them for a money once you get the experience then jump into the job all right but if you are a college student i would especially recommend you participate in coding competition if you know any language like you know any coding language like you know javascript html c++ anything there are many company like let code hacker rank google That's it for today. Till then, happy learning. Keep supporting and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks so much.